So last we went to Dvorak, yeah. uh, and you started it really very recently. More or less. More or less. It was started a while ago, and then it took like a four-month break. Are there, are there any things in it in particular you want me to focus on? Like, do you have any goals with this part of the movement? Um, nothing super particular. Just any sort of advice given, like, general technique and phrasing. Phrasing, okay. As well as, like, obviously being able to play it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's a beast. Yeah. This, this, is, this is one of those concertos where it just doesn't stop ever. <laughs> so much fun. Okay. Um, go ahead. So one thing I would say is when you find your the tempo you want to start this in, and it's also, well, it's four tables over the door. I don't think that has anything to do with the march. But I would say keep it really steady because um, the opening was one tempo. And then um, once you got the da, mm -hmm. it was a little bit faster. Mm -hmm. And if anything, I would keep it strictly because what's, what is happening under that? There's kind of like this offbeat bump, bump, dun, 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 okay. dun. and if you speed up there unexpectedly, they're not gonna, the orchestra's not gonna know exactly where to go. Mm -hmm. um, so make sure that if anything, when you get there, I'm gonna try and play this. Um, <laughs> to kind of emphasize we're going somewhere here. And then the next one, I have the word vibrant written in my music. Mm. So that's the most emphatic of all of them. And without speeding up, you can get the same effect, but just um, growing in volume. Yeah. Um, let's actually start on that spot, that da 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 and think about like, dun, 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 dun and start at that tempo. Yeah. Think about it singing more. 
And then, uh, like, think of an opera character. They're singing here, and then they're more articulate with their consonants on the next one. And then the, the next one, they're like, ah! <laughs> like that. <laughs> Sharp. Yeah. 
Yeah. I did that, and then what I would practice is um, I would group them by to the shift. So just after the shift, I would do.
that while you're playing through that section, it's going to make it much more strict. Yeah. Um, Can we do it once more? Just for yes. Uh, do you want me to play the troll oh, part? Yeah. No. No, the beginning part. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ready? Mm -hmm. 